This project shows a projection plant of optical glasses. And as you can see here, we have an overview of the projection plant floor with several lines and each line uh, has several machines, molding machines. And as we can see here, each molding machine is from a different manufacturer. So the first important thing to mention here is that the system is able to connect several different manufacturers of molding machine. And that was the original request from customers to be able to get the data, to gather all the data from the molding machine that were used not to be connected to any network. And from this kind of overview, the operator on the plant floor can easily and quickly view the real-time status of each machine for a specific line. And as we can see here, for each machine, we have some main information, the manufacturer of the machine, the name of the machine, the real-time status of production, molding production for the machine, the yield, production yield, and the cycle time, which are a very important main information for an operator in charge of a machine. For each line, it's then possible from here, for example, or directly from here, to have a detailed overview for a specific line of a machine with the same real-time information here, but also specific uh, alarms to this line. So the operator can quickly visualize if there's a real-time alert or alarms on the process, on any process uh, for this line. Also, the operator here uh, has access to the, the production and the batch of each machine uh, for the current production. This is a way for the operator to have a real-time visualization of a line of a machine and these um, uh, mimics are available on a big screen on the plant floor as well as on several uh, client station, remote and mobile client station on the floor. So this is the first very important aspect, the real-time operation uh, for, uh, for the operators on the floor. From this overview, it's also possible to access a specific machine process. And here we have the, the molding process with all the process before the molding machine and um, with some real time information about the molding machine itself but also about all the system before the machine with uh, real-time control here we can control the valve uh, here and it's also possible to monitor all the information for a specific machine it's then possible to select um, any other machine and get the real-time data for other machine like uh, shown here so here this is a real-time monitoring it's also possible to access to uh, an alarm list and here for the selected machine we have only the alarm for this machine and it's also possible to filter to uh, display only specific parameters for the machine and to change the, the machine as well here. If we right click on a specific alarm, we have here a contextual pop-up with some uh, information. Here it's possible to open the tracking file so you can add some specific note for this alarm. This note will be saved and will be saved for this specific alarm. It's also possible to open a tech note uh, about the specific uh, machine for this alarm and from this pop-up. It's also possible to select or write a command before acknowledge the alarm. 
and if I do that then the alarm is now acknowledged and we can see the status has, uh, has changed and also from this pop-up it's possible to directly go to the machine um, monitoring view so as I said it's possible to acknowledge an alarm and, um, and select a command so there's also a recording system to archive the data and it's possible to uh, see the recorded data to this log list which uh, display all the recorded events including alarms obviously uh, and select also the, the specific uh, parameters if, uh, if needed and here it's possible to filter what you want to be displayed and for example if we only display the acknowledged alarm I find here the alarm I just acknowledge with the command device out of order. It's also possible to display trends like here for a specific machine and here uh, select a specific value or specific variable to be uh, watched into this uh, trend viewer. Another important point is the production follow-up and here we have a view where it's possible to check the real-time status of the machine and also the the batch production associated to the production for the machine so here we have all information from the manufacturing exec execution system uh, that PCView gets using a link uh, like web services for example and then PC view enriches all this data with some uh, KPI here with and some real-time value here so this view is really interesting to um, check the process status depending on the batch currently produced production can be monitored with this kind of dashboard this dashboard is fully uh, customizable and you can see the site uh, yield and uh, production as well as the line specific production KPI and this is something you can create depending on your own site it's also possible to get uh, other information from third-party systems such as the ISO specifications uh, those ISO specifications are the um, theoretical values to be applied to the machine to have uh, right behavior and uh, the best yield production yield for the machine uh, before this kind of system each machine was set by the operator and the same machine from the same manufacturer could have a different yield depending on the settings and only the operator knew the settings with this system where all the data are recorded it's possible to analyze for each machine what the best settings are for the machine compared to the specification and with this kind of view we can guide the operator and help him to apply the right settings to get the right actual value for the best yield for the machine so here we have real-time value from the machine and also value from third-party system the MES system but also third-party system that has analyzed the data for the machine and uh, give the, the best value for the settings it's then possible to edit some reports like here the machine activity report for the, the overall equipment effectiveness and this is possible through this kind of report done with um, report services from Microsoft where you can customize the report and 
it's fully integrated into PC view with the possibility to filter if you want the machine activity, the machine detailed with all the status for the machine and all time for the machine. If you want the site analysis or only uh, uh, only some lines, you can have here all the information for a specific line and for several periods. It's also possible to integrate a report done with the third-party uh, software Dream Report, such as this kind of report with a KPI for production here. So this is a web report, but it's also possible to get PDF reports and uh, several kind of uh, reports like this one here as you can see here there's also the possibility in those reports to select parameters directly from the report and as i said you can also get the pgf format file for a specific uh, report Now, if we're interested in the behind the scene of this project, we can see that this project has been entirely modelized by the application architect, which is the tool to uh, create object template in PCV. And as you can see here, here you have some machine, and this is a template for a machine. Uh, as you can see, the template is defined by several included templates and each template is defined like this one. For example, for actual uh, value, all the actual value has been defined here. So for a machine, you have a bunch of um, actual value and each of those value are uh, defined here with trend uh, alarm, threshold, and so on. In this uh, tool, you can define all the model, and then you create instances to uh, be exactly as the physical process, the physical prompt. So here we have three lines. Each line has five machine, and for each machine, we instantiate a machine model containing all those uh, sub models, sub templates, or all values. And for each machine, you have um, a bunch of parameters here that you can define when you instantiate your model. So, this is very handy for the developer and um, it allows to save a lot of time when you design and you uh, when you develop your project and then as you can see in the application explorer you see all the variables has been created according to the template define and instantiate like you can see here and obviously if you need to uh, do a change because some machine change or because you have some change in in the technology it's very easy to um, synchronize. So here you can either in the instance and even in the template itself, you can change and say, okay, I want to uh, unselect this specific value from this model. So it's very easy and very fast to, to do it this way.